Are you ready to make this bow with us? I can't wait to show you how. Let's get started. This particular bow we're making today, we are gonna have short tails on those. These type of bows, we like to call them funky bows because the tails will go up and the tails will go down. And I'm gonna show you on this video how to do that step by step so you can do this really easy for your next project. So we're gonna start off with this red and white stripe. One of the neatest things you want to do with this type of bow is I'm gonna use this on a door hanger. So I don't want the actual tails to be long blocking all the, the words, the words on the, on the door hanger. I don't want it to hide it. So I'm gonna take and make these short tails so we can kind of control that. My go-to length is eight inches. Feel free to play with that. If you wanna do it shorter or longer, you have all that control when you're making your bow. But you can see here already, I've got my first tail going up. Now I'm gonna come in and do my loops and I'm gonna keep these loops at uh, about seven inches. This is a pretty big project we're making. So I like these to be nice and bold. So I'm gonna loop over my loops here and we're gonna do two of these, two on either side. So seven on the left and I'm gonna twist and you can see I'm fluffing it out while I'm doing it. That means I'm positioning, positioning this right up where it needs to be. Okay, and I'm gonna come in here at eight inches also. We'll trim that off and then we're gonna dovetail it. Now, if you're off a little on your measurement, it's no big deal. You can always come back and trim these shorter or longer. But the key is I wanna watch those twists as I'm bringing it all into the middle, okay? So now we're ready to put on our next layer of ribbon. And I am gonna use this pretty, pretty like formal swirl. This goes so good with our design we're gonna to do today. So I'm gonna take and trim these. I'm dovetailing them so once I fold it, I just cut that up from the, uh, the cut up. So I get that nice little V shape. And we call that a dovetail. It's also like a chevron. And I'm gonna go a little shorter. As you move in towards the center of the bow, you generally like to shorten the length of the loop. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna go out to six inches here and six inches here. And you guys, what are you making special for yourself this holiday? You've gotta be doing something special. Or what's in the works if you haven't had a chance to do it yet? What is your plan? Okay, and this time I'm gonna put three of these. So I wanna get a good pop of this swirl and white. I think it's just a nice little, a little bit more formal kind of look, a little bit more, you know, classical. I cannot wait to see what your plans are to make for yourself, because y'all deserve something beautiful too for your home. If you haven't made something for yourself yet, you've got to. You've got to mix that in the mix. We always get so busy doing our own businesses that we don't even have time. See, three on either side. I love it. My tails are still working opposite up and down. Now we're going to come in with this stripe. This stripe is pretty cool because it's got this little bit of iridescent string running in there. And I love that. This one's going to run right up on top of our other stripe. I'm going to bring it in and twist it. And we're gonna put two of these in. And now these are even shorter at five inches. So you can see how we're working in towards the middle, a little at the time. I love it. Making bows does not have to be hard. You just take your time, you watch those folds, you twist, you scrunch, and you just build it up. And, and it's so easy to build it up from the back to the front and get this nice look. Okay, I'm gonna dovetail this too. And this is just so pretty. Oh, my little piece fell in there, but I love it. Now I'm gonna finish out the center with just a little finishing touch. And we're gonna use what we do in design school quite a bit. Uh, in design school, we use what we call a bow tie in the center. We just make a loop of the ribbon. And we're gonna make it a little bigger than I think I need it to start with. And then you just overlap these and make your own little bow tie here, okay? Fold it on itself, and then you just gather it right up in the middle. Now this is that really nice ribbon, so you wanna crunch it a little. Okay, and once I have my bow tie, I run it right up the middle, and it always gives me a really, really polished, finished look to my bow. Look at that! I mean, that's a bow like a pro. 
y'all, you can do bows like pros. As long as you're hanging out with me, I'm not gonna leave you hanging, literally. I'm gonna keep you going. And my design school students know it. They have the videos where they can walk through each step of each bow on every project. And I teach them why we use those bows on different projects and what we're looking for when we wanna create those. So this part, we're gonna fluff it up and get everybody in their own position. Okay, so they've gotta get in their own zones. And I love, when you do this, you're gonna see your bow all of a sudden come, to, come alive right in your own hand. Just keep squishing it in the center and hold it tight while you fluff it up. And the key is this. This is the key. The key is that dimension. That's what you're looking for. We want dimension in our bows. We want dimension in our floral designs. Dimension is key. And if you decide to sell your work and you want to learn how to do that, I'm here to help you and teach you how to do that also. But in order to get top dollar, you need dimension. So start kind of getting that as a mindset that you want to work towards that too in your work. All right, now I need to attach on the back here my cable tie. That's gonna allow me to put it on my finished project. And then I'm gonna get that nice, tight, and trim this off. And I like to finish off my bows with just, I like to add one of the ribbons back to the center. And in this case, I think this stripe is just perfect because it's just gonna bring our eye right to the middle of the bow. So I just cut a little strip and I'm gonna fold it on itself. Make a nice little strip that runs down the middle and you can watch those stripes and decide how you want to lay it out like I'm gonna put that white stripe right down the middle and that little detail always finishes out my bow so stinking pretty I love that and I'm gonna come in and tie it tight ah! don't throw it don't throw it across trim off those edges and you've done it you've made a gorgeous Christmas bow uh, this one we're going to use on a project we're making together, but you can see how easy it was put together and just follow my instructions and I'm here to help you guys. If you don't like, subscribe and follow already, please do that because I don't want you to miss another video. We're here all year long teaching you how to make beautiful things for your home. All right, Blue Marinos, I'll see you next time and make sure you're having fun with flowers. Bye everybody.